Okay, so I want to show you how to use your graphing calculator to find extrema, local maxes and mins. So I know some of you have been asking, how do I graph anything on my calculator? So let's start with that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this, sh well, there we go. Now we can kind of see everything. So first thing, turn your calculator on. The button's down here in the corner. And the next thing I need to do is input this equation, this function, into my screen. And notice how I have it labeled y1. Well, that's because that's what we're going to see here next. So up here at the top, there's a y equals. So we tap that. And then I need to input all of these. So x, to put the variable in, it's this button right here, kind of kitty corner from the blue key. So x to the fourth minus x to the, this is my exponent key, third minus 3 x squared plus 1. Okay, so now I have my equation entered. I want to check my window so that I, I can kind of see what's going on. So I'm going to go to window and a nice standard one is negative 10 to 10 just to get things started. Negative 10 to 10 on the y's and we'll step by 1. I'll show you what those are when we see our graph. And then the next button, you see I was already getting there, this last button on the top row, it says graph. So once we hit that, we'll see our axes, and then we should see our graph come in. And there it is. Okay. So those x min and x max, what that's telling you is this point out here on the far left side is negative 10. My x step means that each of those little tick marks you see is 1 wide. So negative 10, you can count all the way into the origin at 0 all the way out to 10, and the same thing on the y, negative 10 to positive 10. Okay. Well, I think I might want to expand that out. I think I have a lot more x's than I need, and maybe even some more y's. So I'm going to go change my window to get a better graph. So change window again. I'm going to go only from negative 5 to positive 5. And for my y's, I don't need to be that negative. Let's try negative 5 to positive 10. Let's see if that graph looks a little bit better. And at some point it's just aesthetics, what you think looks better. But I think that's a nice, it's called a comprehensive graph. We can see all the high points, all the low points, all the intercepts. So let's go ahead and find some of those highs and lows. So first of all, make sure you can point to them. So local maximum, there's one right here. Local minimums, Right, I've got one here and one here. Absolute maximums. I don't have any because those two ends go up forever. Absolute minimums down here. This is my lowest point we ever get to. So let's find those values. Okay, so the, the menu we need, it's this blue one up above the fourth key that says calc. So to get to the blue things, you hit the blue button first, so blue and that button. And what we want to calculate is well, let's find a minimum first, because I know I have some. So option three. So I just typed three. You can also arrow down until you get over the three and hit enter. Okay. Now you'll notice we're going to be prompted for th three things, a left bound, a right bound, and a guess. So every single time we do it, that's going to happen. So I'm using my arrows to arrow over till I'm to the left of the minimum I'm looking for, and then hit enter. And then I need a right bound, so I'm just kind of bracketing it for the calculator. So just kind of sweep around. Don't go over that next hill, though. Stay there on the uphill slide and enter. And then guess, so get kind of in between where you think it is. And your calculator's going to think about it and spit out, I'm going to try to read, the minimum value is, I don't have my glasses, negative 0 0.045 and it occurs at x equals negative 0 0.906 if we round. Okay. So let's see, local min x equals negative 0 0.906 y equals negative 0 0.045 so let's find that local max right there. So back to that same button, second calc. This time we'll do a maximum. Oh, we have the same prompt. We need to be to the left of our maximum. 
Okay, that's to the left of it. Up and over to find your right bound, someplace to the right of the maximum. Enter in between those. And now we'll guess. Oh, our guess was good. So we have a local max at x equals 0, y equals 1. And it looks like I have one more minimum over here, and that's our absolute. So let's go find that. So second calc, minimum, option 3. Left bound, and technically, right, I'm left of it here, but if I get closer, I don't think my calculator has to work as hard. So enter, and it's hard to see because the number's kind of blocking out that thing, but we'll see when it comes up the other side. There it goes, flashing, and then a guess, and let it think about it. And we can't see it, but there'll be a little star there right above our, our y value if I just wouldn't have changed my window. So absolute min at x equals 1.656. And y equals negative, I've got to tilt my calculator, where's that, 4.25? So that's how you can use your calculator to do some basic options.